Hello. Today we're gonna have a very unusual video. If you are OG on this channel, you definitely remember two years ago when I was streaming on the platform called DLive, PewDiePie visited my stream and donated $600. That happened. That actually happened. PewDiePie saw my video. Here is the clip. You're only 13 and you're a master of combos. Well, good for you. Oh my god. Oh my god, PewDiePie! In my stream! Hi Felix, I knew subscribing to you a few years ago would pan out. Thank you so much. Well, let me open your stream. In my stream! Nice me, I'm right here. I'm gonna go watch your video today. I'm sorry, I just need to get it the Wait! I'm losing fights! Damn it! How many did you send? Six ninjets! Oh my god! You're insane! It's it's really amazing what you're doing. Thank you for introducing me to DLive. This platform is amazing. I've been streaming almost every day since since I saw your video on it. Oh my god, that was crazy guys. So PewDiePie, uh, PewDiePie at the time was advertising the streaming platform called DLive, which was honestly, in my opinion, absolutely revolutionary. It would pay your viewers for watching your stream in lemons, and then the viewers could donate the lemons back to you, and you as a streamer would make money pretty much out of a thin air. How it worked? It was some cryptocurrency uh, stuff. I'm not entirely sure how it worked. The point is, basically, people could donate to you money for just watching your stream. Pretty neat idea. And I, when I saw PewDiePie's promotion, I got on board. Plus, he advertised that he was going to be doing, like, uh, he was going to be popping up in random streams and donating some stuff. Lots of, and lots of lemons. So I was like... Double win! I'm gonna do- I'm gonna try that out, and I did. I would stream on DLive for probably around a year. I would be very active. And at some point, PewDiePie actually did pop up on my stream and donated six ninjets. Ninjet equals 100. No. Yeah, one hundred dollars. Each ninjet, uh, I could convert into one hundred dollars of actual real money and get paid by DLive. And he donated six of those, so he gave me six hundred dollars during that live stream. And uh, I wish I've said more. I had so much things to say to you, Felix, but I was shy. I was young and dumb. If that happened again, I would tell you everything. I think about you and oh my god, there is a lot of things I think about you. Alright, but enough with the creepy stuff. We're gonna taste PewDiePie today. I was thinking long and hard how to repay PewDiePie for his kindness all those years ago. And I finally found a way. It's in this box. The way to repay PewDiePie is in this box. If you watch PewDiePie, you know that he has launched his own uh, G Fuels uh, flavor. This is how you open the box. Oh my God. 
I am tasting PewDiePie today. So everybody knows that PewDiePie lost his legs to G Fuel because they had to grind it up and add a little bit of, of his essence into every PewDiePie G Fuel uh, bottle. That's that's like literally everybody knows that. If you don't know that you're living under the rock, that the, that's the only explanation that makes sense. There is a piece of PewDiePie in this bottle. And I bet it tastes delicious. Plus, I'm sure PewDiePie gets a little bit of proceeds for every bottle of PewDiePie flavor people get from G Fuel. So, I'm not a huge fan of energy drinks and I'd never tried any flavor of G Fuel before. But they, they were having buy one get one free deal recently, so I decided to... To just give it a try. I'm not opposed, uh, like it's supposed to be a healthy energy drink. And I do drink something similar as a pre-workout before I work out every morning. Not every morning, but like every morning I work out, I would drink some kind of an, uh, like a pre-workout drink that has caffeine before my workout. So I figured this would be pretty much the same thing that I can drink before the workout. All right, let's take a look at uh, nutritional facts. Damn, this thing is bright. <laughs> Look at it, it says PewDiePie right here, where ingredients are. So we got one, so 40 servings in this jar. We got some uh, zero sugars, bunch of vitamins. PewDiePie is very nutritious if you didn't know. We got anti-accident complex. Wait, where is... I'm gonna assume this is like the energy complex. They're supposed to be like focus complex, energy complex, and uh, antioxidant complex. And I only see one in here. Did I get scammed? I also ordered another flavor. Let me let, let me show you. I ordered G Fuel Hype Sauce. Well, since it was buy one get one basically deal, I had to get two. And this one had some decent reviews, and I hope it's gonna be very delicious. It's, it should pretty much be the same thing on the back. Yeah, I guess they just changed their labeling. It's it's pretty much looks like the same thing. So we got these two G fuels to try. It literally the name of the flavor is PewDiePie. It literally says it on the box. The PewDiePie is inside of there. And we're gonna find out how he tastes today. All right, let's prepare this bad boy. Go into the kitchen. My table is gross as hell. What the hell? Ah, I ran out of water. All right, one scoop is one serving. I hope one scoop is gonna be enough for this whole shaker. I wish I had a camera, man. We're about to see. Oh, thank God, it's white. Yes, finally a brand that doesn't puts any colorings inside. Where is the scoop? Oh my God, it's buried. Ah. Oh my God. Ah. 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 This is the weirdest scoop I've ever seen in my life. What the hell is this shape? Come out! It is done. And now it's time to shake it. Not gonna lie, this thing smells pretty damn amazing. This is exactly how I imagined Beauty Pie would smell. Oh my god, people are gonna use this as a meme and take it out of context. I can already see this. Should not give you any controversial footage. <sighs> oh 
<laughs> I'm gonna pour it in a glass so you can see how it looks. This is the PewDiePie juice. Holy moly, it's not... First of all... The way it just dissolves in water, just cold water from the fridge. It's phenomenal, there is no clumps. It just looks perfectly dissolved. Fantastic! The taste? <sighs> Ooh, how do I describe this taste? It's good, <laughs> but the aftertaste, oh, the aftertaste, oof, which sweetener are they using in here? Wow, there is a lot of flavors in here, a lot of different fruits, sucralose. I don't know guys, honestly, from the way PewDiePie drinks it every time, you would cons you would think this is like the best beverage in the entire world, but it's not. I'm sorry PewDiePie, I want to like this, ah, I want to like this so much, but it just tastes so artificial. Let me show you something. I'm not sponsored by anybody, unfortunately. This is the drink I normally drink as my pre-workout. It's pretty much the same thing, but it also has amino acids in it. Instead of maltodextrin in, in G Fuel, which basically maltodextrin is what's used to... It's basically the powder. It, it what gives this volume. Because the ingredients itself, if you look at the amounts, the active ingredients that give flavor would not even take a, a single gram. Okay, maybe they would take one gram, but they would not take seven grams that are in this serving. Maltodextrin is pretty much uh, probably half of this powder, which is not that good. Okay, okay, let me, let, let, let me be clear. I knew all of this stuff before I ordered. I didn't order this for nutritional value, even though it's, it's advertised by a lot of people as healthy drink. I can tell you guys, I did my research. It's not healthy. It's not harmful. It's not like, it's not gonna make you sick or give you cancer or anything bad, but it's, it's not healthy. It's, it's just okay. It's like, Diet soda is not really healthy, but it's not super harmful if you drink it in moderation. It, it, feel, it looks dissolved, but it tastes powdery. Again, probably all that maltodextrin. It tastes powdery. The aftertaste, uh, even though this one uses the same sweetener as uh, G Fuel, this one doesn't have any aftertaste. Also, mango flavor is incredible. And... Again, there nothing against PewDiePie. I know he didn't like it's not his fault. I'm pretty sure every single G Fuel flavor is gonna taste like powdery with its pretty bad aftertaste. Because the taste itself is good, it's the aftertaste that's the problem for me. Oh god, it, it gets worse with every sip. I'm sorry, PewDiePie! I hope you got some cut from this purchase. I will finish this. I will drink this. I'm not picky. But I will never buy it again. I'm so sorry. Just to be fair, let's try the hype train. Oh, it's hype sauce. Why did I say hype train? Let's try the hype sauce and let's see if it's any better. All right, let's see how this one looks. I put some ice in it because I ran out of cold water. It looks exactly this. It literally is identical. 
the colors are identical. Look at this. I don't know if you can tell the difference with my crappy camera. I think I put a little bit more water into, into this one, so it's a little bit maybe lighter, but the, the pinkish color is identical. Alright, the most important one is the... I already see the, the little like powdery residue on my glass. Oh god. Oh god, this is awful. Oh my god. It's disgusting from the very first sip. It tastes like freaking laundry detergent. I've never tried laundry detergent in my life, but that's how I imagine it would taste. Oh god. I don't know actually if I'm gonna be able to finish this one. Let me taste PewDiePie again. Oh man, PewDiePie pl flavor is so much better. Definitely. But the residue in your mouth is still the same from both of them. The powderiness is the same. The chemical taste is the same. I, I don't know what to tell you guys. I, I honestly thought I was gonna be like, Oh my god, PewDiePie taste amazing. I love the guy. I still love the guy. And it's not none of his fault that it, it tastes like this. But... I'm not regret. I don't regret anything. I'm glad I, I I bought it. I'm glad I got to support one of my favorite creators. But honestly, next time I'm just gonna buy merch. At least that thing is is you'll be able to wear this. This. Oh my god! I get shivers from the amount of caffeine. I paid forty four dollars, shipping including, to get these two things. This one, it has one of the best reviews on the whole website. I literally searched for most highly rated uh, flavors on G Fuel. Hype Sauce was one of the most highly rated. PewDiePie was also one of the most highly rated. So, and this one had, uh, I think it was like raspberry lemonade. It doesn't taste anything like lemonade or raspberry. The most overpowering taste in here is laundry detergent. And this, this is a laundry detergent with a little bit of nice fruity flavor. So this one is at least bearable. Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm never getting sponsored by G Fuel now. Oh my god, I blew millions of dollars. What if I become super famous at some point and they offer me to make my own G Fuel flavor? And then they make me, uh, like, give me a code that I can take 10% of all the sales people make. And I would make millions selling this garbage. What would my flavor even be? I think I'm gonna make something mango related because I like mango flavors of these kinds of drinks. I also like grape flavor. I like apple flavor. Maybe some combination of that, but I would definitely not put any laundry detergent in my G Fuel. Thank you very much. I think I blew that sponsorship opportunity forever, but honestly, I would not, I would not feel good advertising uh, G Fuel to my viewers, especially I know I have a lot of younger viewers and uh, high intakes of uh, caffeine, especially when when you're younger, is not that great. Drinking one cup of this in the morning won't kill you. Two cups max. But I don't know, PewDiePie seems like he's drinking this as water. Like it, <laughs> the way he treats his G Fuel, it's like he's he just drinks it all day long. I don't know how that man sleeps. All right, Felix. Cheers. I love you, my man, but I don't like G Fuel. I'm sorry. I know you love it, and if it doesn't kill you, whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger, and you seem to be stronger. It probably won't give you any long-term bad effects, but it won't make it won't make you healthier. I I just don't believe it, and also it tastes horrible. But I guess some people like it, and nothing wrong with that. Just my personal preference. Thank you guys for watching, and let me know in the comments, I'm kinda curious, do you guys, have you guys ever tried G Fuel? Uh, let me know in the comments your thoughts, did you like it, which flavors did you like? I will never, ever, no matter if they give me 99% off, I will not order the, okay, 99% off, I will order this, just so I can resell it. <laughs>
I will probably never order this again because it's just not my cup of tea. But I'm curious to know if you guys liked it. Leave a comment and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this unusual video. We did some PewDiePie tasting today. It was a great day. Goodbye. And subscribe for more content like this. Just kidding. Mortal Kombat Mobile. Marvel Future Con Revolution. Shadow Fight. And occasional PewDiePie tasting. Goodbye.